Okay. Now listen, guys. Okay, so now yesterday, <coughs> indexes we started here, and uh, one index object how to create on particular column. Okay, and whenever we create an index on a single column, then it is called as what now? Simple indexes we called. Okay, and now this is index creation, and how to see the index information by using of this uh, syntax here. And we created index on which column here? Salary column. Then after, okay, so what it was happened, once you created index object, okay. <clears throat> so on which column are you applied your index, sir? Okay. So that particular column data will arrange into B3 format, it will be arranged. In which format it will arrange here? B3. And this is actually the table. And uh, now your salary column information, it was here. Okay, right. So now after that, now after index was successfully created, now you can send your request. <coughs> so what is my request to your select star from EMP where salary is equals to 3000. Okay, this is, my, this is my request to you. Okay, so once you need to send after index creation, the request I'm sending here. And one more thing very important to remember, your index object on which column are you created, that column must be there under where class condition. Okay, so <coughs> on which column you created your index. Okay, on which On which column breaking up? Syntax variable name equal to Okay, uh, now we can see. So now after index created, uh, now we can send your request here where salary is equals to 3000. And here one thing should be remember what I'm saying here, on which column your index object is created, based on that column only, you can retrieve your data. Okay, so... the information with the MGR column or information <coughs> with your ename column. If you do like this, then your index scan will not be performed. Okay, now, so which column are you create index? Same column should be used. Then only your index scan will be work. Otherwise, it doesn't work it. Okay, now, and whenever you send this request to the server, what the server will do, now your complete salary column information, whatever it was there here, this complete values are arranging into B3 format. And how the B3 format will be arranged here, observe. 
the B tree is nothing but binary tree format. Okay, so B tree format it will be arrange. So B tree tree starts from what now root value, and the root value how your database server will consider means as per the given conditional value. So on which conditional value basis are you retrieving your data? That value will consider as a root. That means your tree will be forming from that values onwards. The tree will be created. Okay, no. So now and the three thousand. Which was less than values are there. For example, the three thousand less than values are saved under LP. LP calls a left pointer memory. It will be saved, and this is my three thousand root value. And a greater than values are or k okay, will be greater than or equals to values will be saved under right side pointers. So now the root started with the three thousand now. The root value starts with three thousand, and three thousand less than values are keeping into left pointer memory side, and greater than or equals to keep into right pointers. Okay, then after uh, now we can come out and check. Now, <clears throat> in my salary column, which is the maximum highest salary in this five thousand. So five thousand is your highest salary. that highest salary we need to compare with the root 3000 now tell me 5000 is less than to 3000 or greater than greater than so that means the 5000 it keep at a right side pointer it will be kept into right side pointer and the same as right side less than values are keep into left side pointer memory and this is your 5000 value And uh, which is greater than or equals to values are keep into right side. So this is called a root level, and this is called a parent level. Okay, no right. And after that, next highest salary. What is the next highest salary? Three thousand. But this three thousand is having how many rows? Two rows. First row double seven double eight. This is one row, and seven nine zero two is a one more. So now the three thousand value next compare here. So when you comparing to root the three thousand which was comes under left side or right side, right side because greater than or equals to. So three thousand will come to right side, but right side already parent is existing here. This parent you need to compare now. If you compare with this parent five thousand, then three thousand will come left or right up, left side. So the three thousand I kept into left direction. Three thousand, but three thousand is called a child level. In child level, your data can be saved here, and the three thousand is in my table. How many rows it was there here? Two rows. So every row is having unique row identity. Yes or no? Yes. So that row ID is we need to representing with a star. The first star of first row ID. Comma, another star will represent another row ID. Your yeah, row IDs are nothing but page numbers in your textbook. Your page numbers, how we can say, your row IDs are just like a page number. And your first page number, where your three thousand is located, and this is your second page number, where your three thousand is located. Okay, so here, okay, here observe. Here, star is nothing but your star is represent. Is represent star is represent ah uh, what it is here row ID represent row ID so that point should be remember and wherever I am keeping star star is nothing but row ID here how many stars I am taking here two stars so why because my three thousand is having in one row this is one row ID number. And this is a one more row, so two rows are there. So that's a two row IDs. Okay, now the two stars I'm taking. Okay, the next, what is the next maximum salary? Two nine seven five. Two nine seven five. How many times you? One time. So let me come. So compare with your three thousand. Two nine seven five will comes left side or right side? Left side. 
so left side it will be come in left side okay again same as which is less than left pointer will save your 2975 and greater than or equals to it will be save right pointer okay that is greater than r equals to so this is left pointer okay now right now next the biggest value 2975 after what is the next biggest value 2850 how many times here one time so compare with the 3000 which side left side left side already existing 2975 and compare with 2975 which side left side okay left side so here i'm writing now so 28 how much here 2850 mm. 50 and here i'm using one star because uh, one time it will be okay this is what we called okay all right and the next one what is the next biggest value two four five zero how many times one time let me come to compare with your root which side compare with the parent which side left side so here how much here two four five zero how many times one time okay next what is the next biggest value huh 1600 1600 how many times here one time so compare with 3000 which side left side compare with 295 2975 which side left side what is this 1600 how many times one time right next after 16 what is the biggest value 1500 how many times one time compare with the 3000 compare with the 2975 left so 1500 one star next next 1500 after what is the next one 1300 how many times here one time so compare with the root left side compare with the parent left side so what is this 1300 only one star otherwise here uh, i will take into next line you should take into one line only okay but here my space is not there that's why i'm going to next line okay next after 1300 what next 1250 1250 how many times two times okay compare so 3000 comparison which side left side 2975 left side so now here i can go 1250 how many stars two stars and star is nothing but row id now after 1250 what is the next one 1100 1100 how many times one time okay so 1100 also comes here only now yes or no uh, 1100 so star next uh, what is the next one 950 how many times one time so 950 also comes here only next what is the next uh, lowest uh, 800 uh, how many times one time so 800 okay right so these are arrangement of your salary column data which format it was arranging b tree format binary tree structure format it was arranged okay small value to lowest value it will be take and checking with your root and keeping into left or right so now after keeping like this and arranging your data like this uh, then what it will do now whatever the request is sending to your oracle server now oracle server what it will do first it will go to salary column on salary column you already created indexes so that index is called as here this is p3 index is created and the data arranging into this order so now what happened now we can check it out 3000 comparing with the first level root after comparison what it was come greater than r equals to 
Then it was come to where now second level parent. Parent to whom I need to compare here five thousand. Five thousand. If I am comparing, it was come to left side. In left side, three thousand is there, ah? Uh? Yes. So three thousand is equals to three thousand matching. And in this matching of data, first to three thousand is having into particular row ID. So this row ID number is showing here star. Star is nothing but what now row ID. Then what it will do based on this row ID, your Oracle server directly jump to this row. Directly jump to this row here directly. So based on the row ID, directly jumping to that row. And the row will be pick and sending to client. Same as after that, next one more is there. So next, what it was happened directly jump to next three thousand. So based on row ID, next row will be pick and send to client application. So that means in my table, total number of rows how many? Fourteen rows. But fourteen rows means these rows are searching or not searching? Up, not searching. These rows are not searching. This row is not searching. So out of fourteen, how many rows are not searching? Twelve rows. So twelve rows of data is not searched by your Oracle server. It means that your twelve seconds of time is a what? Saved. That is called as searching time will be saved. How much time saved here? Twelve seconds. That means your output will be produced by Oracle server. Your output will be produced by Oracle server with how much time here? Two seconds. It will be written for us because there are fourteen rows. Twelve rows are not a searching based on your index information. Based on that row ID of that value. Based on that, it was directly. Jumping that row and picking that row and sending to client. Okay, like uh, there are twelve rows. Uh, searching time will be saved here. Okay, this is what now indexes advantage. But the same scenario in table scan. Okay, how much time it will take? Uh, Fourteen seconds because there each and every row is uh, checked. But in index, it is not necessary to check each and every row. Okay, now so now tell me which technique will be faster to retrieving the data? Index technique. Now write down below. So yesterday class continuation. You have to take some uh, separate uh, distance. You can take because you are my. Adjustment purpose. I'm taking like this, but you have to take a properly. Okay.
Okay, all right. So this is what we called the B tree indexes working nature. And the second one, right down below, composite index. So here, what is the mean by composite? Okay, composite is nothing but a multiple. Okay, so when we created an index object based on multiple columns, based on multiple columns, then we called as your composite index we call. And uh, what is the syntax of this composite index means? Uh, create index and uh, give it your index name on table name of uh, now you can send your column name one comma column name two comma and so on so like you can use any number of columns here okay right and now come back and see <clears throat> so now example how to design here observe <clears throat> For example, present on my EMP table, on which column we created your index now? Salary column, so that I can see only salary column only we created our index. Okay, now? Ah. And remaining columns, sir, there is no indexes except salary, remaining columns, sir, non indexed columns. So now, are you created one more index now? Create index I2 on emp table of the column sir what it was here dept number comma job for example so any column any multiple columns you can take suppose this time i'm creating my index create index index name on table name of a multiple columns i'm using so now the index successfully created and let me come out and see whether your index is created or not created a uh? how many columns created two columns department number and job okay so once you created your index on multiple columns then how your indexes will be work sir how your index will be work internally okay so internally your indexes will be work based on your leading column that means sir, for example if you need to test now to retrieving some data so select a star from EMP where suppose job is equals to I'm going to send your manager. But whenever we need to retrieving data based on job column, first of what it will do your Oracle server on which column wise data is retrieval that column is a indexed column or not first check it out. And now it is a indexed column. Okay. But later, after that, your two columns are their indexes. So then what it will do when it was having multiple columns, then what Oracle will go to check here, whether you are required or retrieving column, is it a leading column or non-leading column? It will be checked when, when your indexes are having on multiple columns. Whenever your index is created on multiple columns, and your column, that means on which column basis are you retrieving the data, that column is in a leading position of column or non-leading column, it will be checked. Suppose if we are you retrieving non-leading column basis, are you retrieving your data, then here index scan will never work. Here it will be work which scan by default, table scan. <clears throat> So that means here job is also one of the indexed column, but which type of it is non-leading indexed column, which type here non-leading indexed column. So non-leading indexed column basis, if you try to retry, still your indexes will not be activated. It will be taking what by default table scan only. Now this is what, but the same scenario when I'm going to send, okay, EMP, where DEPT number is equal to some 20 I was given. Again, DEPT number is also one type of index column, but this is which type index column? Leading column. Leading means first position of column. It's called as a leading column. So now when we are retrieving the data based on the leading column, 
then it will be performing which one here index scan okay now this is one otherwise uh, the third testing if are you writing like this where dpt number is equals to 20 and job is equals to suppose i'm passing clerk if i'm going to using this by retrieving my data based on these two columns and which columns here job and department number but whatever the two columns i'm using here in this two column you are using leading column now yes sir. so that's why when you are writing conditions like this it is also perform what now index scan so that means finally what you understand when you created your indexes on multiple column while retrieving the data from that particular table compulsory you mention leading column if leading column is not mentioned then your indexes are not activated if i want to activate my index compulsory leading column must be used in your where class okay now uh, right down below So here, indexes or index scan will perform based on leading column only. And next one, unique index. okay right what is unique index okay now when we created an index object based on unique constraint based on unique constraint okay and already unique constraint we discussed what is the nature of unique constraint Uh, duplicates are not allowed so now by using unique index by using unique index we can we can restricted we can restricted duplicate values duplicate values so that so that searching time so that we can reduce so that we can reduce searching time searching time okay for example just observe suppose are you created one serial number and your serial number but on serial number if you applied unique constraint 
one serial number is there is no unique constraint and one serial number we have a unique constraint uh, what is advantage here one and here also one one two two three two four two five three three four 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 okay five and five so now you can see if i want to retrieve if any particular serial number of data for example test where serial number is equals to suppose three i'm going to call when i'm calling serial number three if on serial number there is a no unique index what it was happened all complete data will be search so complete data means including duplicate also searching now yes or no yes that means total how many values searching one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve total 12 values are searched including your duplicates but the same thing serial number is equal to three when my serial number is having a unique then how many searching five only search why sir uh, because we are not allowed uh, duplicate values so whenever you restricted duplicates automatically my searching time is also reduced yes or no when you have a more duplicates when you have a more duplicates then searching time is also more when you are less you are avoiding your duplicates and unique data you maintain then automatically your searching time is also same so here 12 seconds of time it was taken because you have a duplicates here and here it is only 5 seconds of time so this is what advantage of what no unique right on below so the syntax what is the syntax of this <clears throat> what is the syntax of this create and unique keyword user unique index and index name on table name of a column name table name of a column name Okay, uh, now we can come out and see. <clears throat> One more table we have your DPT. But on this DPT table, suppose I need to see whether indexes are created or not. I want to check it out here. DPT. What it was saying here? No indexes. There is no rows on this. Now I'm creating one index. Create. Which index I'm creating? Unique index ui on dept of a d name column so index successfully created and let me see whether index is created or not created a uh, what is my column name department name what is index name ui so after index unique index advantage is what now let me come out and see if i want to insert into this table okay so now I'm passing 50 and I'm passing sales and HYD. So carefully observe the sales department already existing in my table. And on this column, which index is there? Unique index and sales already existing. And again, same sales are you inserted. It means what? It's a duplicate. So allowed or not allowed? Not allowed. Now you can see to execute now unique constant is violated what is your index name ui so whenever the duplicates are restricted automatically my searching time also reduces right down below
in real time these all are created by database administrators okay not uh, developers <coughs> these indexes are completely preparing by admins The next type, functional based index. So when we created an index object, okay, based on a function name, based on a function name, then we called as your functional based index. Now the syntax of functional based index here, observe. So create index and now I want to give it my index name on table name <coughs> of here. I want to send your function name of we can send column name. Okay, now so this is what we call the functional base index. We call and we are using some function okay on particular columns along with the index creation. Okay, and now you can come out and see. For example, this is our table information. On this one of my column is enum, any one column as your wish. Suppose I'm creating your index I number three on EMP of uh, here, my function I'm using here, upper function, lower function, anything you can use on enum. So now here I'm creating my index with the help of what now? Some function name. I'm using some function name. Which function? Upper function. And now once you created your index successfully created. After created on which functional basis are you created your index on the particular column? The same functional basis we, we need to retrieve the data. Then only your indexes will be activate suppose are you calling like this select a star from what is my table name emp where <clears throat> ah 
what is the function here suppose lower of uh, otherwise my function is what now upper na uh, upper of e name is equals to if i am sending smith if i am sending smith but now upper function what is the nature of upper function lower case characters will converting into upper so that means that this function will be written your name in capitals but are you mention your data in a small so condition matching or not matching up not matching then what it was happen you can see your data will not a retrieval okay na ah suppose the same thing if in place of this in place of this if i am going to sending here the capital smith then condition will be true and it will be retrieving your data so whose name is what now smith right on below <coughs> take example and go for testing okay so these are what now okay functional based index here and uh, these all are comes under b tree type of uh, indexes and next one second one you can take uh, bitmap index bitmap uh, indexes okay so bitmap indexes these indexes we need to create on which type of uh, columns okay na right suppose when i want to create uh, actually in real time what it was happen your database administrators when they created indexes on your table columns first of all these columns uh, cardinalities are checking what they are checking cardinality they are checking what now cardinality so which column cardinality will be greater than or equals to 1 on those types of columns we can create a b tree indexes to improve the performance of your database and which column cardinality will be less than to 1 on those types of columns the people will prefer bitmap indexes 
to improve the database performance so that means on low cardinality of columns p3 indexes are not uh, useful it's not necessary to create if you create also there is no advantage for us and the, if we created the bitmap indexes on high cardinality of columns again there is a no useful the technique is not a work okay so that's why before they want to apply b3 or bitmap first the real time people suppose i want to apply my index on this column for example then first this emp number column what they need to calculate it cardinalities are calculated if the cardinality showing greater than or equals to 1 then on this column which index will be priorable which index will be priorable p3 index will be priorable to retrieving data fastly and improving performance of database suppose your emp number cardinality is less than to 1 then immediately b3 indexes are not created they created what now bitmap indexes to retrieving data fastly and performance of database is improved okay now so this is first they are going to be calculated okay then then here come to bitmap indexes are generally we are creating on which type of columns uh, means that these indexes are created these indexes are created on low cardinality low cardinality low cardinality of uh, columns okay bitmap indexes will be priorable to create on a low cardinality of columns okay ah, now the question will come to you sir what is cardinality what is cardinality okay a cardinality is nothing but it refers it refers it refers the uniqueness it refers the uniqueness values the uniqueness values of a column okay now otherwise even though some people are called as here it refers it refers okay distinct values of a column distinct values of a column also it can refers okay now ah. so uniqueness or distinct distinct means what we discuss distinct means allowed duplicates are not allowed not allowed so that is one and what is the formula see the formula also very important observe cardinality of column is equals to is equals to number of distinct values number of distinct values in a column by number of distinct values in a column by number of rows number of rows in a table number of rows in a table so this is my formula what is my formula here <clears throat> number of distinct values in a column by number of rows in a table Mm. For example, careful episode, few examples I will explain to you. Now, suppose in first example, I need to calculate here cardinality, cardinality of a EMP number column. Suppose my first column is EMP number, first I need to calculate what is the cardinality of a EMP number. 
so now careful observe what is your formula number of distinct values in a column okay now come back so now i am going to call my table select a star from emp now emp number column cardinality i want to find out ah uh, tell me first one is what now number of uh, distinct values how many distinct values are there in the cmp number column how many are there 14 14 values are there in this uh, this okay in this column okay now all are uh, distinct values distinct values means unique uh, now okay so 14 14 by number of rows in a table 14 14 by 14 how much one so now cardinality how much here one when your cardinality is one what we need to prefer b3 so here bitmap is not suitable now next i'm going to take here cardinality of a job cardinality of a job ah now check it out number of distinct values five one five or not yes five only number of distinct values are how much here five five by number of rows 14 how much 14 zeros 14 threes are 14 fives are uh, 0 0.35 so 0 0.35 is a lower or higher or lower so that means here this is high cardinality okay so high cardinality preferable is what i'm saying here ah high cardinality then we are using what b3 the people will be prefer b3 index okay now this is what now low cardinality this is what now low cardinality low cardinality prefer what now bitmap so this point should be remembered so now tell me now i want to create my b3 index on which column on which column job column okay na uh, but what is the syntax here to create a write down syntax to create a bitmap index create bitmap index index name on table name of a column name
Okay, right. This is your syntax, and let me come out and see. I'm going to create it your bitmap index now. Ah, uh, for example, <clears throat> now I'm going to create it now. So create bitmap index and bit on the table of EMP of which column your job. So now I just go to executor now. What it was happen? Your index is uh, created. Which type of index? Bitmap. And now we can call this uh, you can call the index you can see. Now on job column, which index is created? Bitmap index is created. And uh, now we can take this syntax uh, below you can write now. So now after creating of bitmap index, internally, this job column data, how it was arranged here, how the B3 indexes are arranging particular column data into B3 format, same as the once I created bitmap index on particular column, this column data, whatever it was there, and the data how to arrange it by your Oracle. Okay, no? and that mechanism we will see in a tomorrow class okay and tomorrow after this we start a normalization topic and maybe this week uh, uh saturday otherwise monday i will start a plsql okay now and plsql i required almost 15 sessions so maximum your batch will be completed in the uh end of this month the 25 24 like it will be complete understand now okay Right, guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat>